let me know if you're able to see my screen. Yeah, I can see it. And uh, the topic what we are uh, discussed, uh, going to discuss is backup and uh, recovery. Okay. Okay. So backup and uh, recovery. Mainly the purpose is it's open, it's a self-explanatory uh, kind of thing, right? So backup means we have to take backup. Uh, recovery means if something messed up, we can just uh, recover the data. Condition is if you have the backup, then only it is going to possible. Otherwise, it is not going to be possible. So that is the, and uh, what is exactly means, uh, different type of backup and recovery strategy companies are investing millions of dollars in the day wise kind of such an important part of why we all know the importance of data take example of maybe united airlines or any airlines or any banking if you lost the data can you believe what is going to happen to the the whole society we can't imagine the data is lost your bank account data everything is wiped out it's unbelievable right so right. to avoid that or to just keep this uh, the data means available we used to have different uh, technique is in place given by different vendor who is managing databases okay. for example oracle we are talking about here so Oracle is not only database in the universe, right? There are many databases out there. So yeah. the volume of data, what Oracle supports in the transactional way, transactional means it's a, there is a OLTP and OLAP. You may have heard this two term, right? Yes, I have. OLTP means online transaction. So whenever the DML happening more, it's a OLTP. That's it, as a basic uh, understanding. Where DQL is happening more, it's a data warehousing or you can so, means the, the other one. That means OLTP and OLAP. Okay. So analytical processing. So where the query is there, the historical data we are dealing with, it's OLAP, other than OLTP, online transaction processing. Okay. So the backup. Different term we are going to use uh, right now, okay? So term under this first thing I'm going to use as a the reason I'm just going to uh, discuss this or introduce you with the nomenclature of the term, what we are going to use in the day-to-day -day activity. So you should not be confusing which one is what. Okay. Okay. So the very first thing is whenever we are talking about focusing, right now we are going to have only backup, not recovery. So I'm crossing it recovery part. Okay. Just to avoid confusion. Now, okay. there are broader sense Term-wise, there is something called manual backup. Okay. There is something called arm and backup. There is something called hot backup. something called cold backup. Okay, so manual backup, hot backup, cold backup, arm and backup, what all these Terms are around. Yes, definitely it indicates it's a different way we can take backup. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Now, the manual backup and arm and backup, first let us understand. If somebody will ask you or do request to court me, 
Hey, Courtney, can you please take backup of uh, the database called ORCL? So what Courtney will do, he will log in and Courtney know the size of the database is total 100 GB, or not 100 GB, just 20 GB only. Just 20 GB. So what Courtney will do, he will go into the database and inside database, he will find all the data files, physical files, what he knows so far. Example, all the table spaces like system, sysorg, stem, undo, uh, users. Then next, all the control file. Next, all the review log file, right? Apart yeah. from that parameter file, Apart from that, what we have, we have something called password file. So far, we don't know, don't remember the work of the password file, but uh, uh, we know the password file is there. All those, whichever location it is, if you will understand, if you will uh, able to check the location, all the data files location is under almost same folder, if you remember, okay? So right, right. all these files simply you are going to do CP source then destination. Destination should be the backup folder. Example, okay. when somebody will ask you, okay, Courtney, can you please do take backup of uh, any Windows file? What Courtney will do? He will simply log in and go and check which folder you want to take backup. Suppose uh, News 18, suppose. So, copy and go to the folder, something called backup folder. I'm giving B A C K up today's date. That is the standard whenever we are taking backup. Okay. 16, suppose June 23. And this backup is what type of backup? Maybe cold backup or manual backup. This is a tag. Anybody will see, even you will see after a month or after one year, you will be able to understand this folder is having all these backup related news in, right? So what I did, copy paste, right? Source, what backup you want to take, destination where you want to keep the file. This is normal backup in the windows. Yes or no? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a self-explanatory. Same thing you are going to do in the Linux, but Linux, you are going to use a CP command. You know, remember, right? CP source destination. Yeah. yeah. Right. Simple this. Oh, is it backup manual? Yes. Nothing rocket science. Uh, are, Upendra, are you going to, or oh, are you talking about you did the same thing what I'm getting from you right now in past as a DBA? Answer is yes. This is the safest way to do it. No expertise is needed. Anybody having little idea about computer, he or she can be able to take backup. Correct? Okay, yeah. Now, but to do the step by step, you cannot go just go take copy, do paste, it is not going to work. Though it's very simple, but we need to understand the sequence. What is the sequence then? Then I'm going to tell you the real story that will really give you crystal clear idea. Okay? okay. Which way you are going to do. So I'm just giving the any company's standard, standard mount point definition or standard drives available into the servers. Hope you are understanding mount point or the drives. Right. Drives yeah, in Windows point. we used to say. Yeah, mount same point. as drive. Yes, yes. So let me show you what exactly it looks like, okay? So normally as per the standard, whichever company, couple of company uh, I have worked as a consultant, handful of company, I work as a permanent uh, role, and this is the standard of what I'm going to share with you. Okay. 
it's not that compulsory everybody is doing it but i'm talking about standard way of keeping these things in a much better way right following okay. the rule now normally in a organization there are three mount point used to be there number one mount point is for software installation okay it may be it looks like slash u 01 slash app okay this is one example i gave colon i'm giving okay next okay. second for data files looks like slash u02 slash maybe app or i suppose i'm assuming ism application you remember i'm keeping the same yes. example so it will be really you will able to understand much more avoid confusion so ism underscore db00 slash so this is mount point number 2 Mount point number three for all the backup. Example slash u zero three slash ism underscore bsek slash. Okay, and. Uh, apart from that this is explicitly for the dbas okay and other definitely the operating system is there for their own operating system some uh, mount point will be there for os which are os sun os uh, hp ux maybe uh, red hat or whatever is there so for that maybe slash any anything os uh, slash 0 u 0 2 or something whatever is there i'm not talking about so mm -hmm. standard way you will be getting four mount point okay so one i am just okay. excluding for now because we understand right whenever yeah. you are having suppose a window we used to have the c drive located or reserved for all the softwares correct yeah yes Yeah, same, same with you. Uh, OS, whichever OS will be there. But apart from that, DBA should have three. Not should have standard. It's not you can keep everything in one drive. Also, that's what we are doing right now. Correct. Okay. We don't have different drives. We are doing like maybe U zero one app, then ISM, then under that only ISM backup, then that only there only we are having everything. Right now, here some more standard company used to have location for another uh, drive. I'm putting here for all the jobs. Okay, jobs means maybe backup job, monitoring job, uh, different kind of application job used to be there. so hope you are able to understand what job i am referring to set of files if it will run the related activity will happen example you want to take backup for taking backup we need to write some lines maybe 10 line maybe 2 line maybe 100 line how it will look like we will discuss but just i am trying to give you the overview okay example we need to check the status of mount point every half an hour or every one hour that mount point is 
is it less than 80% or 80 to 90 or 90 to 100? Which category is falling? If it is falling 80 to 90 or 90 to 100, it will be sending you email. So that is one job. It has been written. So that way we will be learning means we will be coming to know different kind of jobs. It may be database administrator job. It may be application related activity job. Okay. So for that, you might have U04 slash ISM underscore APP or ISM underscore jobs. And under that, all the file, if you go and see a number of file will be there inside file, all the activity has been written that will be performing. Okay. So this is the top view you will join any organization in the universe. You can not this by login, you should not be finding yourself in uh, means uh, surprising. Oh my God, so many mount point. What is this? Reason we are using only one mount, mount point, right? If I'll show you what we have, hope you're uh, getting my that Linux yeah. uh, screen, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, let us start. So here, everything almost we are doing in uh, one location or one position uh, only. Okay, so on that way, you will be getting the, the way I design or the way I uh, have written exactly the, these location, you will be finding the, these location, which one I selected. When you go and give a command, what is the command to check how many number of mount points available? There is a command called df. Hyphen H. Right? So it will be showing with all the free space and used space, everything. Not only mount point, along with the right. free spaces, used spaces. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, apart from that, Upendra, any other term uh, we are going to use uh, as a uh, the backup and uh, these things? Okay. So, another backup, we are going to get introduced, introduced with something called archive log backup. Okay. <clears throat> uh, apart from that, any, any uh, other uh, uh, backup uh, we are go going to have? Okay. So yes, term-wise again, something called Logical backup. Yeah. Same way, something called physical backup. What else, Upendra? That's it. Okay. So one by one, at least one line you need to remember. Only one line. I'll make a note here, just one one line. That's it. It is going to make your life so easy. I cannot explain you in order. Okay. If, if this one line will not known to die, you will get to be, oh my God, oh, these many backups, sometimes you are saying this, sometimes you are saying that. Okay. Because these are the terms we are going to use in the daily basis of the DBA. If we are not like means aware with these, if we are getting surprised, it's not good for us. Yeah. Now, one by one, I'm going to uh, give you brief manual backup means what? If you are doing by giving OS command copy source destination. It's self-explanatory. Copying file from one folder or one location to the backup location is a, is known as a manual backup. Okay. Make sense? Nothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
arm and backup means a backup used by a tool called recovery manager okay r means recovery man means manager in thought we used to say r man nobody is going to tell you mostly recovery manager backup got me take recovery manager backup no people will tell got me can you please take uh, r man backup yeah. so yeah. tool how to configure not configure i'm not going to discuss all those thing at one go slowly we will do it we are okay. getting introduced with all the keywords okay so each and every okay. words are giving introduction about himself to us okay, okay. so are and backup is clear the recovery yes. management tool in oracle we will be using it is going to have n number of feature what feature not feature we will be discussing now hot backup means what i'm just i'm going to write this so that Hot <laughs> backup means when database up and running. So backup while database is up and running db up and running is known as hot backup okay the backup when db is shut down state okay that is known as cold backup make sense yes shut down means close then we are taking backup that is cold backup archive backup is also self explanatory when we are taking the backup of only archive log files now what is archive log files any idea yeah it's the um files that um log writer transfers files um from the we do log buffer to the we do log file and um when you have the log switches and the active file becomes um it becomes the the active uh, we do log file becomes mm -hmm. um filled um then it gets flushed to the archive log back yeah. so archive log file it's very tedious activity to keep the archive log backup it is very mandatory and it is going to give us so challenge so many challenge in a real scenario because it's very resource hungry very much resource hungry okay and normally we dbas are struggling to manage the space because the management management used to give suppose 1 terabyte of space for the archive log but sometimes due to high transitional volume every one of this thing is getting filled up kind of if you will not clean up you will start getting alert but if you will delete it you you, you are vulnerable uh, level for uh, this particular uh, situation you cannot delete archive log file cannot if you want to at all delete archive file oldest file not active or not recent files why these files are very much important for recovery very much important how how we will do not do we will do but just for the fyi archive logs files are very important for the recovery purpose if you miss a single file you are not in position to recover database can you believe the importance means can you means if one file missing database you not able to recover no such an important file is so that's what we used to take the backup also for archive log file separately keeping in mind that importance how to take where to take all these thing is subject to discuss okay, okay. so cold backup is done archive log backup uh, we know logical backup and physical backup okay 
So logical backup and physical backup, simple. While taking the backup, we are putting logic. Example, one table is having 10 million row. Might happen. Out of the 10 million, you want, you want to take backup of the tables whose salary column is having value more than $3,000. Okay. See, one table having 2 million record out of that you are filtering. Oh, filtering is you are putting logic. Okay. Another example. In a schema, there are 100 tables or 100 objects rather. Okay. You want to take only backup for 20 or 30 tables. You need to put some condition, some logic, right? Okay, yeah. You want to take backup of database uh, tables who are created between maybe last 12 months, okay. kind of. You want to take backup of out of 100 users, you want to take backup of only 10 users. Okay. So all this logic you are putting, right? Right. That's why it is a logical backup. So when we are putting logic while taking backup, it's a logical backup that can be done with a keyword or tool you can say, just like Armin is one tool, right? For the backup. Right. In way, there is an EXPDP. Export data prompt. In sort, we used to say EXPDP. Older version, only EXP, not DP. Could you say that again? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Yeah. EXPDP, export data pump. This is, right. a, this is a tool available in Oracle for taking logical backup, what I explained uh, a few minutes back. Okay. But this feature implemented in Oracle 10 G onwards. But before 10, maybe it might you might get a chance to take backup of nine Oracle 9i or 8. Still, people are using exceptional, but companies are using 10 or 9 also. Okay. So in 9, EXPDP will not work. EXPDP will not work. So for that EXP command you have to use. Or take okay. logical backup. Okay. So these are the again terms we will be using while doing the activity, like RMAN, like EXPDP, like IMPDP, kind of. Okay. Okay. So okay. EXPDP is for taking backup. Okay. 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 And uh, <clears throat> there is another term is there in logical, we will not say logical backup, logical recovery is called IMPDP, import data pump. Okay. Okay. So this is basically for, you can say a recovery purpose I'm taking, okay? I'm writing here. Okay. And uh, this is for taking backup. I already, uh, I have written EXPDP, but logical, both logical. Okay, but Rupindra, physical backup uh, means what? When we have started with something called manual backup, what we have done, copy paste, I, I have shown you, right? Right, right. Same. Physical backup means when you are doing the backup manually and direct copy paste of the data files. The same thing what I did in manual backup, same thing, physical, physical. But normally, physical means maybe with the manual, maybe arm and you are taking the data files backup, directly copy paste. Suppose system.dbf file is there, correct? If you remember one file you deleted, right. user.dbf. Right. So, Suppose you are going to take backup of that file directly, maybe copy paste, maybe through some tool, some tool, what tool we will discuss. Some tool means Armin is the tool, but 
there are many options are there to do it. But so physical and manual backup means it's very much, you can say some connectivity is there, some, some relation is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here you are directly affecting files, physical files. Okay. So okay. that physical backup can be done manual also, can be done with the tool Armin also. The way I discussed or so that copy paste thing in the windows, right? Same thing you can do in the, uh, not same way, without browsing by using CP command, you can able to do it. Same okay. thing you can do in Armin also. So long story short, whenever somebody is saying physical files or physical backup means directly you are touching or uh, interacting or putting the data files, maybe system.dbf, users.dbf, sysox.dbf, undo, maybe any other data files you have created. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So these are the pretty much the overview for the keyword we will be using under backup and uh, or recovery and our aim is to finish all those things practically but mostly we will be focusing which part because for understanding like manual backup we will be doing it but it's no expertise is needed we know what we have to do cp source destination that's it so nothing new you are going to learn here right. but where you are going to learn new, okay? New, mainly most of the 95% you can say, our time will be involved in uh, this particular thing. Armen and all the activity we will be doing as a DBA in our daily life, this two thing only. Right. Okay. Right. By using this two, we can take archive log backup also. We will be able to take the physical backup also. Everything we will be able to do. Right. Hot backup is what I told you. There is up and running. But how you will do with the help of our man. Okay, so that we do. So, as I mentioned, ninety-five percent time we are going to invest in this two only. Okay. Next, to take any arm and backup or any hot backup, our database should be there in a mode. Which mode? Very important. I'm writing a little bit uh, uh, big font. Okay. Very, very, very important for interview. Very important for day-to-day -day life. Okay. Your database should be there in archive log mode. If you want to work with tool called Armen. What will happen if uh, we will not have uh, that thing? Means uh, archive log mode is off, you will not be able to take arm and backup. Even arm and will not work, it will give error. Okay. Question being okay. asked how to check whether your database is there in archive log mode or not. Very, very, very common uh, question. If it is under no archive log mode, how to make it archive log mode? Very important for interview. Okay, so question is how to make, how to make database in archive log mode. If it is in no archive. So first thing we need to check how to 
whether the database is in archive log mode or not. How to check? Question is clear? Yes, yes. Answer is very simple again. I'm just uh, showing you practically with them and they're on the mouth. Now, we are give, going to check, definitely we have to have BBA. Start up. In the meanwhile, this prompt is opening. I'm opening another uh, terminal. There's a command called archive long list. Okay. What is showing? Archive mode enable. But by default, database is there in no archive long mode. How to make it? Suppose you got a instruction Courtney. Uh, we don't have space to keep archive log uh, into the mount point. Can you please? Uh, this is the development database. Can you please make it make this database in no archive log mode? Okay. Question clear? Yes. Yes. How to do it? To do so, our database should be there in the. Archive means uh, should be there in the mount mode. So you should you should shut down the database. Hmm. Shut down immediately. Hmm. Yeah. One is it's shut down. Then you have to start the database in mount mode. So start up. Now, why we focused on we should know no archive, archive, why now these things? If that is not clear, so why should I, what is happening in archive uh, uh, mount mode? So you know that in mount mode, instance T, this thing active in no mount and then mount, it is going to check what, based on whatever written into the parameter file, the control file is available or not, it will read the control file, right? right. Yes. Here we have to give command alter database no archive log or whatever command syntax is not known to me. I'll just uh, Google and I'll tell you. So this mode is very important. Alter database no archive log 
ordered database ARCH okay let me just Yeah, I was searching my own favorite blog that what uh, so it's not getting me. So its steps are very simple. It's not uh, something so archive log list, shut down the database. I did the same thing, right? Then startup mount. Right. Okay. Alter database, no archive log. Okay. This is archive log means if it is no archive log, you have to do it. Okay. So here I was uh, giving, but syntax, uh, so ordered database. Okay. So instead of um, this uh, thing, the particular archive log, so no archive log. Okay. No. Archive log. Okay. No archive log I have given here, but uh, space was there. Okay. No archive log or database. No archive log. Archive log. Yeah, so uh, no, sp uh, no space was there and I was giving space, okay? Right. And then once it's done, alter database open. Now, if you give archive log list, yeah. this is visible. So, if it is, this is the case again, we know that uh, instead of this, uh, no archive, archive log, order device archive log, same thing we have to do. Now, 
if you want to take arm and backup, very first time we are going to use arm and keyword or arm and uh, utility. So far we are we have used something called LSNR, means listener surveys. We have used SQL. We have used uh, uh, NetMGR. Remember uh, last yes. uh, few sessions back we have. So here how to use arm and steps are very simple. You have to set the environment first. Yes. That is mandatory for anything, everything. Right. Okay. Though we have set in the bash file, that's what we are not setting. Otherwise, means you have to just set every time. So my request to you, don't set those things in the a bash file to keep practice. Okay. Because if you set, you won't need to do it again and again, right? So okay. you will out of practice. So it will be a little <laughs> challenge. So did you say a batch file? Did you say a batch file? Bass, bass file we have done now. Profile bass. There is a bass. This is. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The bash. B-A-E, right. Bash uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me show you. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. These, these yeah, profiles the we have checked, yeah. if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I told you we would do practice. So. So. Here. Simple arm and target slash. If you want to go, take backup. You have to do this. Okay. Hit enter. Now, how to take backup? Very simple one word command. What is that? Backup. Database and that's it. Okay. But it is giving error. Yeah. Read the error if you. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot back up database in. No archive log mode. So, uh, as I mentioned, if you want to take backup, if you want to take hot backup rather, your database should be there in archive mode. Okay, right. Okay, I'm going to do a hot backup. Yes. So we're online, so you have to go offline. So here we have to go and do the same reverse thing, right? Just like I've shown you because this is very important. So go this DBA and here you have to shut down database. Order. Startup mount order database archive log mode. Order database open. Then Armen exit, Armen backup database done. Right. Auto data base order reverse archive log auto database open auto data base open. V dollar database. Here also we are having here when database, suppose somebody will ask, okay, tell me when database was created, how you are going to. Okay, 
which mode is there? One is the archive log list I told you, right? Right, right. Isn't that? Log mode from e dollar archive log. If it is no archive, it will show you no archive log. Okay. Another way means we can have a couple of just different different uh, ways. Somebody will ask. This is the interview question. Basically, okay, tell me when this uh, database uh, got created. Select name created from V dollar or sale created on twenty sixth of February twenty twenty two. Okay. If you will be giving this, you will be getting maybe a month back or something like that. Okay. You want exact time. So we have done something, if you remember, to care some formatting related stuff. Right. right? right. So yeah. simple. Right. Very important. That's what I'm just uh, to care created comma DDMM, whichever format you want. Right. HH. 24 format, okay? If you want for 24 format, otherwise just give HH. Am I? Yep. SS. From Vera Revis. Means uh, right. 14, 26, 44. Right. Make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, moving to next. So, how to take backup? So, I'm going again to show you Armen. Target. Now, I'm giving backup database. see error was giving now it's showing what listen at least one time you have to whenever you take back up read the whole thing what it is saying very important most of us fail to just read this i did the same thing what it is saying starting back up at this yeah. Okay, <laughs> using target database control file instead of recovery catalog. We don't know what is the recovery catalog. This is deprecated, not used, but everything, whatever status, listen very carefully. Whatever status related to database backup will be kept into control file. Okay. Okay. It's very important. When we'll do practical recovery now, these things will, this concept is very much. So what you're saying is, instead of uh, this thing, okay. Now, channel means what? Here it is saying, uh, channel. Channel means just like we used to have the process, right? Different. So this is the processes for taking backup. Okay. okay. Now, which all of the backups it is taking? These are the all are, as I mentioned, right? System, sysogs, undo, whatever you have created, user, ISM, all these backups all these locations, right. okay? And uh, it is keeping where? What is the location? This is the location. And the whole location internally give a nickname or tag. Just the same concept of tagging, right? Means we, we used to give some tag. So entire backup is tagged with this number. This is given by Oracle itself. Nothing to do okay. with us. Okay. So people will ask question, okay, Courtney, can you please tell me the location of backup? Courtney, can you please tell me the backup size? See, these are, these are the common questions. Okay, so here, few things is to be remembered always. Backup means all these physical files, as I mentioned, this is taking backup. It is taking backup of something else also. Control file and SP file. 
So two location, two set of backup you are getting. One is having only control file and SP file. One is having all the data files. Very important, just for FYI. Okay. okay. And you could specify just control file and SP file, you could specify just so to do control that. file and SP file is there in the one file, one location. And this is going to be in this different file. This is the standard. Okay. Nothing to do with us. When we will take backup manually, we need to find and keep it in as per our own choice, our own standard, own location. But Oracle, this tool is doing in this fashion. Okay. Make sense? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, suppose this is the session I am working on, but you you want to check from your end, I have closed this, suppose. Okay, I, I suppose closed. Now I want to check, okay, whether the, what is the backup location? What is the size of the backup? What I took? I don't remember. Or you want to check, Pindra, I want to check, uh, can you please help me checking the location and all those. What Courtney will do? Because these log is not available right now because I have closed that, right? Because one database can be used by many DBAs, right? In a team, maybe a dozens of DBA used to be there. All dozens should have the status if needed. They should be able to just uh, show to the management, okay, backup is this, location is this, size is this. We took backup at that time. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. How, how you're going to? So for that, We are going to use same RMN, same way, target. There is a command called list backup summary semicolon enter. But to Pindra, it is just showing the tag. I want detail, location, and everything. Because this is clearly crystal clear, the 16th of today's 16th, right? So yes. this is today's backup. And as I mentioned, two backup used to take. One is for um, control file, parameter file, and another is for data files. Okay. But it is not here, right? So. Now it is giving more clarity. See? List. Every detail somebody took backup on 26th May. What backup was there? Full backup. What size was there? This much size. What is the tag? This is the tag. What is the location of the backup? This is the location of the backup. So standard is whenever you're taking backup, there is a date by default will be created. Under that, you remember OMF, Oracle Manage File, Oracle is giving this names. Okay. okay. So same way, this particular is the Which type of backup is there? Type is full backup. We'll okay. discuss different type of backup is there. Okay, but full full backup. But which one is SP file, control file, and which one is having data file? Irritant. The above is having control file and SP file. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. And uh, all Detail, if you see here, these all are the files backup available under this location. Same for this location is having log. What we took now, 
it should have a sp file and control file. Okay. Getting idea to file which file is which particular backup is having what content. Oh, I don't yeah. So two things is to remember only. Location, how to find out. This backup consists of which particular data files back content. Right. Right. What is the size? Two Type seconds. of backup. Example, yeah. full backup is there. Hot back, uh, full backup is there. Incremental backup is there. Zero level backup is there. Label one backup is there. We don't know what, what different uh, yeah. category, but naming wise full zero level, one level kind of. What is full level? What is zero level? What is the difference between these two? Yet to be discussed. Right, right. So that's it, that's it. final takeaway for last, whatever discussion we have done, prerequisite for taking ARM and backup. Database should be there in archive log mode. Taking backup, go log into our ARM and simple command backup database. That's it. How to check location, size, list backup, semicolon. It is going to show you when it took, how long it took, uh, and uh, all this. How long it took? Yes. 51 seconds. 51 seconds. Again, yeah. These are the interview questions. Okay, Courtney, can you please tell me uh, Monday it took full backup. How long it took? If Courtney will not know the list backup, he will be surprised. Oh my God, I don't know. Right, right. Let's see. Make sense? Right. right. Yeah, just one question. Um, yeah. um on where it says number three, because you have like five backups listed. Number three backup. Yeah, we didn't took so, it, it took in past. Okay. It says full. Full. Yeah, but it only shows, it only backed up the um, the SP files and the control yep. files. Yes, yeah, oh. there's the option. We will be learning all these slowly, slowly. Okay. Right. You can take even one single uh, data files backup. You can take single table space backup. You can take backup okay. of a control file. You can take backup of SP file. By default, whenever we are taking full backup, by default, SP file, P file, control file, the uh, backup will be there. Okay. 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 Now, though we discussed that, Pendra, I want to take backup of uh, some table space called users. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So, you want to take backup of uh, a table space called uh, users or any, any other table space name, I'm giving users. So, backup, instead of database, table space, Done. Just for FYI, whenever we are taking 
anything by default sp file p file backup will be taken place okay okay you want to take only one data file it may happen that one table space may have 10 different data files mm -hmm. you want to take suppose there are many data files suppose you want to take sha this one sha01 data file Okay. Simple. Just like here, two data files were there, right? User one, user two. You want to take only one data file, user yeah. one, zero one. So backup data file base within single quotation location. Followed by name. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. You won't need to recruit, you won't need to just give the entire data. So here I want to take backup of system dot DBF. I give one. One is always system.dbf. Two is sysox. Okay. Okay. But Upindra, how to know that one is for what, two is for what, three is for what? There is a VRAR data file, db underscore data files. You go file number, comma, file name, you'll be able to find out. Example, okay. if you'll go and um, see whatever backup. Uh, we we took now see all these number okay uh, all these name go and check inside database okay let me open new tab um DBA underscore data underscore files. See file select comma name from deep underscore data underscore file. All column name comma a object. See if you want to do a uh, Give the table space so you can. But no need to do the order by one. One is data file. See, one, two, three. System is there. This thing is there. See, so it's up to there and accordingly. Right. So if you'll give nine, it will take. Data file this. Either way, either give within single quotation, absolute path, else you give number. Right. And list backup. You'll be getting all the details. As I mentioned, it's very easy, but practice. <laughs> right. it's whatever I have shown, if you will not do practice, next day everything will be. <laughs> right. It is uh, understanding is very easy, but con to gain the confidence, you need to do all these small, small just uh, practice. Right. Okay. Yeah. What else? The so. Just like we have learned parameter file, right? Remember parameter file? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Parameter file is basically all the information, initial information needed for Oracle to run, like memory, like control file location, the database name, the SGA size, uh, the processes, everything getting controlled through that. 
right? Yeah. It means all the basic information. Same way, RMM tool can be configured by this particular parameters. All these are the configuration. All these. Which all are these are each and every line we should understand what is what. Each and every. Example. You can ask me, okay, can you please give me example? What exactly? Any one or two? Uh, we will discuss almost all, but still for now, uh, to say, for example, if you go and check, we have a full backup. We took it and we want, if you, you go and check the size of the backup, what we took it today, that is 16. And uh, if you go and check the full, backup, whatever full backup we took today. Okay, say for example, this one we took, right? So how much uh, space it occupied? 1.2 GB. You want, no, no. The file size, it should be maximum 500 MB or maybe 700 MB. One file size should not be exceeding 700 MB. Okay. In the real life scenario, this one GB is very nothing. It's maybe 50, 60, 100, 500. So managing 500 GB file is little tough. So better make it two or three or four. So okay. by setting the limit, we can make it instead of one file, you can make it two file or 20 file for better manageability for better control. Making sense what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to take full backup and uh, one file size <clears throat> should be maybe 500 MB or one GB suppose. It's 1.26 uh, GB now, one GB. I'm, I, I, I'm giving limit one GB only. Okay. How to do that? Very simple. Here, if you go and check here, Max size to unlimited is there. Can you see? Yes. <clears throat> so max to one G syntax I need to check, but yeah, let me try. It got configured to one GB maximum. No unlimited more. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. If you see now, it, right. Yeah, it's changed. Yeah. See, earlier, if you remember, it was showing all data files. <clears throat> right. Right, here we go. So, data files. <clears throat> so it internally calculated how much it will take where and all, all those kind of things. So one, this file it took, it put it here, rest four is here, here, and then the control file and all those kind of here. So okay. no way you can see any file exceed this, exceeds one GB. It may be less due to internal log, but max limit is one GB. Okay. So that algorithm internally decided. Now if I'll do this, See, list back up, uh, so full, see, 490 MB only. Okay. 
So if you go and check, no file you will see more than one uh, GB. All are below. All are below. Right. Got it. Yep. So biggest is uh, this file one four four ninety uh, MB four uh, four ninety point uh, four. Then right. equally it is showing. Right. So interview question used to be like you want to limit the backup size. How you able to do it? So there is option in the. ARM in configuration, we can just give the size there. Right. How? It's a copy paste, simply configure. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, there is a so all. In so all, there is a used to uh, give this uh, configuration limit. Uh, simply copy paste and uh, it, is, uh, it is done. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Now, likewise, we will be discussing a little bit more of this, but uh, I don't want to just uh, over <laughs> because I know means uh, you need to do a little bit more practice. Okay. Okay. So.